Okay. Okay, good morning. I, I'm here with uh, Taryn from Odinson in Central. Hey. And we're going to do 60 seconds to find a little bit more about Taryn. Um, Odinson in Central has great facilities to um, work out, but also some other wellness stuff, which we're going to find out a little bit about. Um, if, you're, if you're teaching someone about wellness, what, mm. what do you try and teach people? I think our philosophy is that wellness is not just about the physical. It's really about the mental. It's about your, what you're eating, what you're putting into your body. It's about the stress that you're living through every day. It's about your, what your kids are doing. It is all encompassing. It's not just about you know how much muscle you have on your body. So we try and and get the client to obviously concentrate on exactly what's going on in their life. You know, from how much water they're drinking, how much sleep they're getting, um, how much exercise they're doing, and we go through everything step by step. And where we do see little you know, blocks that we, we need to fill in, that's where, that's where we concentrate. And you've got connections that put, put everyone together. Absolutely, absolutely. We've got, you know, we've got people who, who help us out on the sleep side. We've obviously got our in-house nutritionists here. Um, we are a gym, so yeah. you know, we, we sort them out on the, on the physical side. Um, on the mental side, we have, we have a lot of people to back us up, you know, from psychiatrists, psychologists, if we need to. But we do have the, the yoga studio downstairs, so we do do a lot of a lot of mental wellness and just calmness so you know meditation and deep breathing stuff so we we, we kind of touch on everything from a full holistic perspective it's not just how much muscle you have in your body yeah, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately exactly, exactly. <laughs> which was that easy a little bit more complex than that <laughs> it, yeah. you i mean you being in nutrition you see a lot of fad diets going around yeah uh, do you see do they work no, Do, you know, everyone comes in. Oh, I'm going to eat this. I'm going to eat this and lose 20 oh, kilos. Oh, you know, I think the worst I've ever heard was a popcorn diet, where this girl literally <laughs> just lived in popcorn for two weeks, which is crazy, oh, right? Nutritionally, yeah. nothing in, in that. So, um, it is. It, it fads are fads. Right. But, you know, my honest advice to every single client nutritionally that I see is just keep it simple. You know, really stick to the basics. The lifestyle. Absolutely. You know, don't stress about it. Nutrition is. It's one of the most natural things that we do. We drink water, we sleep, we eat. You know, yeah. these are, this is stuff that is built in us from millions of years ago, hundreds of years ago. Um, so just, just stick to the basics. Eat good, decent food, get good, decent sleep, get your liquids in, and don't stress about the rest. Okay. You know, it, will, it will come off. Okay. And when, talk, just talking about food, you're saying get good food in. When you go and eat out, are you conscious about where you eat and what you eat? Totally, totally. And I think, I think nowadays, there is there is a lot of rubbish out there. There's, there's obviously there's a lot of stuff that is processed. There's a lot of stuff where you don't know where it comes from. There's a lot of stuff with pesticides on it. So yeah, you've got to be more mindful, more so than our parents had to be mindful. Yeah. Um, so you've got to be mindful about where you eat, and you can't just stop and eat, you know, any you know, Seven Eleven and you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. fish bowl or you know, because you yeah, really you don't know what is in there exactly. So you know. My, my take is that if you're getting every meal that you're having, ensure that you have a nutrition in it, you know, that, that's actually solidly nutrition, then you'll be all right. Okay. You know, then we can, we can kind of fill in the blanks from there. Okay. What about the kids that, you know, maybe are fussy eaters? Oh, so we all have How do you get them. nutrition into that? We all have them. Keep it fun. Keep it fun. My advice, and I, I'm a mum, I'm a mum, so I've been through this a few times now, okay. and just keep food fun. You know, the minute with the minute we start getting stressed at the dining room table, so about you force them to eat anything, or you just if they don't want no. to, you don't, and you just try, try, and try. We we know, we all know that the kids need food, and and when they're hungry, they will get the food. Mm. If if we make it a fun environment and we're not force feeding them and we're not we're not making it negative, they will naturally come to you when they are hungry and they will eat food. Um, it might be at two o'clock in the morning, yeah. but you know, yeah. for a small period. That's maybe what you Don't have eat. to do. Yeah. Exactly. So um, keep it fun. Give them finger foods. Kids yeah. love playing with food. Okay. So you know, let them play with their mashed potato okay. if they have to. As long as they eat it. As, yeah. long, yeah. as, as long as they get a yeah. couple of spoonfuls in. Remember that their stomach. And I think this is the this is where parents really do go wrong. It, their, their stomach is literally the size of their palm. Right. So you know, if you look at your little three-year-old's hand, it is really small. So I know they burn a lot of a lot of energy through the day. But their tummies are just very, very, very yeah. small. So small snacks through the day, good, healthy, nutritious food. Okay. You know, get in you know all your macronutrients, and they'll they'll survive. Okay. They they're hardy okay. little things. Okay. They'll survive. They do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've got a few. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, um, if you could have dinner with anyone in the world, yeah. if you sit down, you get one or two, yeah. whatever. How, who would you have dinner with? Oh my gosh, I think my number one pick would probably be. I'm South African, so Nelson Mandela <laughs> yeah, yeah. would have to be right up there. Um, he, I mean, he's, he's got a great, as you know, yeah, life story, amazing. so I'd love to hear more about that. Um, Princess Diana, 
yeah. would be yeah. another one. And then I think my ultimate would probably be Elton John because he's got the scoop on everybody. Yeah. Okay, so. awesome. All right, well, that was uh, a bit more than 60 seconds, but <laughs> that was very <laughs> valuable information from Taryn from Odinson.